Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the third day of my week featuring Penny Black. Today I'm using the Autumn Splendor Clear Stamp Set which has beautiful images for fall. I am going to work with those three pumpkins and I am going to stamp them on uh, watercolor paper. I am going to use the smooth side of the watercolor paper but still you need to stamp once or twice since it still has some texture and that's why I decided to stamp the image with my Misty tool so that I can repeat the stamping twice or even three times until I get a nice impression. I am using archival link because I will be using my Tombow markers to color everything. And as you can see I didn't get a nice impression the first time so I'm going to stamp again and using the Misty makes things uh, really quick and easy. You can do this uh, with uh, Stampa Magic but I think by using a Misty makes uh, the job really quick and uh, perfect. So I'm going to stamp it three times. And I'm going to bring my tombos to color everything. So now I am going to do some uh, coloring directly with the tombow markers on my watercolor paper. And I'm going to blend with a lighter color. So for the pumpkin I'm going to use only two colors. And you can see how beautiful they blend. I'm going to do it a, a couple of times so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And you can uh, blend uh, Tombow markers with the blender pen or you can even use a brush with uh, a little bit of water. But for this technique today I'm going to work only with my Tombows. When I finish with the pumpkins I'm going to do the exact same technique on the leaves. You can see on screen right now all the colors that I have used for coloring the pumpkins and the leaves. And as always you can find a full list of all the supplies that I used today down below in the description area along with links to online shops where you can get all those products. To make the leaves look more imperfect I added some touches with my brown Tombow marker which I am then going to blend in again with my lighter green color. And with the same uh, brown marker I am going to touch uh, the bottom of the pumpkins to kind of ground them somehow so they are not just floating on my card. And I am going to use my Tombow blender pen to blend everything out and smooth the shadows. And now I'm going to bring in one of my dies, place it exactly where I want it to be and secure it with a temporary scotch tape. So I am now going to use my T ruler and I'm going to make uh, two marks with my pencil just outside of the hole. So I know up to where I need to cut out. I'm going to explain exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to bring in my cutting plates and I'm going to place that up to those markings that I have uh, created with my pencils. Now just because my cutting plates have um, a slope at the end, it's always nice to place those markings just inside that slope. So I'm going to cut it through. And you will see that uh, this way I'm going to cut out only the upper portion of uh, this uh, panel. 
So now I'm going to uh, pick up my pencil and I'm going to draw a line just over that design. Now you don't really need to do that if uh, you are confident that you can do it by just using your scissors. I did a lot of uh, work on coloring the pumpkin so I didn't want to make any mistake and having to color them again. So I'm just uh, sketching where I am going to cut leaving a nice border around that design and now with my scissors I'm going to cut it out. And just because I needed to see what I am doing, I didn't pay attention to the camera, so I'm not working directly below the camera and you can't really see what I'm doing, but in any case I'm just following the line that I have drawn with my pencil. So here it is all cut out and with my eraser I'm going to make sure that I don't see any pencil markings anymore on the sides and at the top of that uh, pumpkin's uh, design. So now that my panel is nice and clear I am going to put it on top of my card base and that's a very dark uh, green card base and um, I am going to decide where the sentiment is going to go. Now for the sentiment I'm going to use the one that's included in the same stamp set that, with those pumpkins that says uh, Autumn Wishes. I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink through that window so, now that, so that I know that it's nice and centered and uh, I'm going to apply gold embossing powder. I have created my card base to be a standard card that's a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I have stamped the sentiment and now I'm going to apply my embossing powder and then heat set it with my heat gun. Also don't forget that there is a giveaway on my blog for a $25 shopping spree on the Penny Black website, so make sure to visit my blog and learn all about the details. And now I'm going to create the window. I'm using my tape adhesive at the back of uh, the window so that I can stick on top a piece of acetate. And again, this is just recycled acetate from packaging. And now I'm going to use my phone tape and go all around that window. For my sequence today I'm going to use a beautiful uh, mix that has uh, great designs inside like little stars and leaves and beautiful colors and that's by Lucy's Little Things. I'm going to link it to you down below. I am going to place it directly on top of my sentiment so that I know that they are centered. Now I'm going to peel off the tape and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another card featuring Penny Black Stamps. And if you haven't seen them already, here are Day 1 and Day 2 of this week's fun event. Thank you all for watching!